Hello, everybody. This is uh, a problem on uh, regenerative gas refrigeration cycle or reverse Brayton cycle. The cycle is shown here, you know, turbine, compressor, two heat exchangers, a cold heat exchanger, and a warm heat exchanger, and a regenerator result, which is also another heat exchanger. But keep in mind that in this heat exchanger, Everything is internal, so the heat transfer from the hot stream of air uh, takes place to the cold stream of air. And here we'll see the TS diagram of this process. So let's look at given uh, data for this problem. So we want T5 to be at negative 10 degrees C. T5 is the temperature uh, the lowest temperature in the cycle uh, is the temperature of air going into the cold heat exchanger. So we want to keep that at maybe 10 degrees C. Mass flow rate is two kilograms per second and pressure ratio in the turbine compressor is taken to be three. So uh, we want to design this cycle to give us uh, five ton of refrigeration with a uh, heat exchanger effectiveness of 85%. Uh, so step one is to uh, find T4 from T5. The only temperature given to us is T5. Okay, let's uh, review the assumptions. So uh, assumptions or approximations a list in here. We are treating air as ideal gas. First of all, the working fluid is air and we treat it as ideal gas. And we use, for simplicity, we use constant specific heat at room temperature. And we know how to uh, do the problem using uh, very, very specific heat using tables instead of CP delta T uh, as a replacement for delta H. So isentropic equation for the turbine is T4 over T5 equals to pressure ratio with K minus one over K for T4 equals 263. This is 273 minus 10 times pressure ratio of 3 to the power of 0.4 over 1.4. That gives us 360K. That's our T4. Then uh, we can calculate T six by writing the first law for the cold heat exchanger. Q dot L is M dot times C P times T six minus T five. Keep in mind this is actually M dot times H six minus H five. So that will give us T6 as T5 plus Q dot L divided by M times CP, which equals 263 plus five times conversion is 3.517. That converts cooling load to kilowatts. Mass flow rate two and CP of air at room temperature 1.005 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. That gives us T6 of 271.7 Kelvin. Now for the Regenerator, we can write a couple of equations. One is T1 minus T6 
is equal to T3 minus T4. That's the heat balance between the two sides of the heat exchange. In this one, we notice that we don't know T1 and uh, T3, so two unknowns. We need another equation. The other equation for the generator is the definition of effectiveness, which is actual heat transfer, T3 minus T4, over maximum possible heat transfer, which is T3 minus T6. This is equal to 0.85. Another form, T3 minus T6 times epsilon equals T3 minus T4 for T3 times one minus epsilon equals T4 minus epsilon times T6. I'll continue up here. One last math manipulation, T3 is equal to T4 minus epsilon times T6 divided by one minus epsilon or plugging in numbers 360 minus 0.85 times T6 which was 271.7 divided by one point one minus 0.85 is 0.15 that gives us a value for T3, 860.4 Kelvin. That's our T3. Now we can go back to the equation for the regenerator and uh, calculate T1, so I write that equation again, T1 minus T6 equals T3 minus T4. Now we have T6, T4, and T3. We can calculate T1 and T1 equal, is equal 772.7. One Kelvin. Then the next step, isotropic equation in the compressor, T2 or T1 is equal to RT to the K minus 1 over K. And that gives us T2 as 772.1 times 3 to the power 0.4 over 1.4. And the answer is 1056.8 Kelvin. Then we can find uh, Q dot H for the heat rejected in the warm uh, heat exchanger as M dot times CP times T2 minus T3, which is equal to 2 times 1.005 times 1056.8 minus 860.4. And the answer is 394.8 kilowatts. And finally, we want to find out what the COP is. The COP basically is Q dot L over W dot net in or Q dot L divided by Q dot H minus Q dot L or 
17.6 kilowatts over 394.8 minus 17.6. And we get a COP of 0 0.047. So uh, the COP of um, gas refrigeration cycle is actually quite low compared to the vapor compression refrigeration cycle. This is not a, uh, an optimized uh, cycle system, actually. You can uh, change the, some of the variables, maybe uh, pressure ratio, mass flow rate, to get a better optimized cycle for two ton of refrigeration. Uh, now that you know how to do the calculation. 